Hey everyone, with Christmas right around the corner, I thought I'd update a video that I made last year in which I gave my top 10 4K Blu-rays of 2018. When I first got my Ultra HD player, I wanted to buy as many films as possible to show off the new, upgraded picture quality in HDR, but I didn't really know where to start. 4K titles are still really, really pricey, and at £20 a pop, it can be expensive collecting them, especially as there's not really a reliable list of what the best looking titles are. So to get you the best bang for your buck, throughout this video we're going to be discussing our list of the best looking movies and the projector to watch them on. With that out of the way, I just want to give a huge thank you for clicking this video. I'm Definition from Heavy Spoilers, now let's get into our top 10. Okay, so just to make sure we don't miss anything, in case you're completely new to the format and you just want a quick rundown of the prior top 10 titles of last year, our list was made up of Pacific Rim, Life, Prometheus, Avengers Infinity War, Passengers, Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, The Avengers, The Revenant, Lucy and Blade Runner 2049. If you pick up any of those titles you won't be disappointed as yet, yeah, they're just absolutely phenomenal. For 2019 though, I was blown away by our first entry, Mortal Engines, and I feel like this film was very underrated in cinemas, and in the home theatre setting, it definitely packs a punch. This is a perfect picture, as the movie was shot in 8K and finished with a 4K DI, so everything throughout it just looks outstanding. There's a crispness that really packs a punch, and instantly upon its release, it became one of the must-have titles. This is how the movie was supposed to look, and I think many will gain a new appreciation for it with the 4K Blu-ray, so yeah, definitely pick that up. Next up is Dunkirk. I actually stupidly omitted this from my last top 10 countdown, so it has to be on this one. The movie is absolutely phenomenal, and whether you're watching it on a TV or the projector that I'll be talking about in just a bit, this is a complete knockout. Film for the most in IMAX, everything stands out here. The sand grains are so detailed that you could probably count them one by one, and the rich ocean and sunset that the Spitfires fly over feels like it could be a postcard. The 4K Blu-ray is the way to watch the movie, and it feels like a truly cinematic experience on the upgraded format. This is a must have and one of the best entries on the Ultra HD market. Next up is Aquaman. Though it was released with the 2K DI, it doesn't suffer in the slightest because of it. With the huge epic IMAX scenes and incredible textures and colours, the movie really stands out on the format. Given both the HDR10 and Dolby Vision treatment, the movie pops in a way that you just don't get with a standard Blu-ray. The first time I saw the characters travel to Atlantis, I was just completely mesmerised by the beaming beacons of light, the detail in the ocean surroundings, and I really couldn't believe how good the film looked. In Dolby Vision especially, this movie is a wash of colours that stand out and the film completely knocks it out of the park with its gorgeous vistas and settings. We're not really doing this list in any order, but out of the discs here, this is probably one of the top three and is a must have for anyone looking to get into the UHD format. Our next entry is Glass. Now, this was a disappointing film for me due to the fact that I'd waited so long for a fully fledged sequel to Unbreakable. However, what isn't a letdown is the film on Ultra HD Blu-ray. The detail here is absolutely insane, and at points the film looks better than real life due to its incredible textures and environments. The movie, yeah, it just looks phenomenal, and this should be no surprise as it is released here in its native 4K. This makes the film look demo worthy, and if like me you were disappointed in the overall movie, then I definitely recommend that you revisit it to see what you're missing. Okay, so before we get into the rest of our list, it's time to discuss the best projector on the market right now, and that is the BenQ W2700. BenQ sent us this out for review, and if you've been following my channel for a while, then you'll know that I don't do brand deals or tie-ins. This is the first time that I've actually been sent something out to review, as normally I just turn companies down because I don't really want to push products that I don't believe in, but yep, this is something that I genuinely think that home theatre enthusiasts need to get. We weighed up everything from the overall price, quality and build, and if you're just starting out then this is by far the best projector to pick up. The W2700 uses cinematic colour technology and supports DCI-P3 which is the US movie industry colour standard. The projector is relatively small measuring 38cm across and just weighing in at 4.2kg. BenQ stated in their marketing material that it can sit nicely in any room and it definitely feels that way. Me and my wife put it on our bedside table and projected it against the opposite wall and it was pretty much silent throughout the entire run of all the movies that we've watched on it. 
It can be mounted on a ceiling, used in rear projection as well, and it will pretty much fit in with any room, which makes a great addition to the house. I have tried a lot of projectors in the past, but they were either eyesores or just really clunky to fit somewhere, whereas this integrates with most rooms really well. It does get a bit hot from time to time as you'd expect, but that's probably the only downside to it. There's also a wealth of settings so you can set the projector up for any environment and get the best picture possible. Dunkirk looked absolutely astounding on this and I was completely blown away by just how lifelike everything looked. Aquaman as well was a knockout and even regular TV shows look phenomenal through the technology that BenQ have here. You can manually adjust the lens and picture or just automatically do it through the projector. The colours are brilliant and at standard settings the picture still looks outstanding. Of course you can adjust the picture settings for your room and so on, but the W2700 automatically handles all of the HDR work for you. It automatically switches to the picture setting and I'm normally someone who buys a TV then spends hours going through all of the settings and getting it right for my room, but out of the box this is really really good. There's colour, contrast and outstanding sharpness here that provides you with the home cinema experience that you've been looking for and I really can't overstate how impressed I was with this. Everything just works instinctively, the projector scales really well and even on standard definition content things still look breathtaking. In my opinion for 2019 this is definitely the projector that you need to pick up right now and with its price, overall quality and capabilities this is the one that we recommend if you want the best movie experience at home. So with that out of the way, up next in our list is Jurassic World 2 Fallen Kingdom which comes with Dolby Vision and with this switched on the film looks absolutely incredible. The surroundings, dinosaurs and character detail really stand out here, making it a brilliant adventure. This was a pretty meh experience the first time I watched it, but in the updated format it really stands out, delivering the true experience that I think the creative team behind it were going for. Though it has a 2K DI, it still looks amazing and is a definite must buy if you want some outstanding picture quality. Next on our list is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and it's no surprise that this won the Oscar for Best Animation, as with its 4K release it's easy to see why. The film comes with Dolby Vision and a range of colours that actually make the image look 3D at several points. I was blown away by just how much detail was put into the frame here and as with most 4K releases you begin to notice things that you missed or never picked up on which is especially true here. Even though everything in it is artificial, the colours are incredible and before purchasing it I was worried that they wouldn't be able to capture the lifelike colours that we see in real life, but that really isn't the case. Electricity looks phenomenal and the kaleidoscopic range that is laced across the screen is just breathtaking. This is again a must have and easily in the top 3 of the list. Up next is the Warner Brothers Batman set. Now I know this is kind of cheating as it is 4 movies, but you do want to pick up this entire set. When I heard that Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer and George Clooney were coming to the 4K format, I was a bit apprehensive. I knew it would be a must have for me because I'm a massive Batman fan, but I didn't know if we would start to see behind the curtain with the picture upgrade. However, I wasn't disappointed at all and the movies look better than they've ever been. The 4K DI makes each one really stand out and I can't emphasise how much this is an upgrade over the prior versions of the films. I used to stay away from older movies because of grain which I personally can find to be slightly over the top on older titles, like that's just a personal preference and I have gotten used to it but I do tend to prefer a crystal clear picture. However that comes with this release and the entire set looks excellent, the restoration is mind blowing and this is a must buy. Now our next entry is actually a bit surprising. So Avengers Endgame was almost on this list until I saw Ant-Man. Released just a couple of months ago, the movie looks absolutely amazing. Given the full screen treatment, this really stands out no matter what television or projector you watch it on and the HDR brings absolutely everything to life. The small character makes a big impact and this might be a bold thing to say but the 4K release is probably the best looking MCU movie on the format. If you've overlooked this because it's not one of the big Marvel titles, then I definitely recommend that you go back and pick this up as it's one of the best looking Ultra HD Blu-rays out there on the market. Go buy it now because yeah, you will not be disappointed and I can't overstate enough how good looking this movie is. Okay, so whilst The Lion King paled in comparison to the original, the 4K Ultra HD release definitely doesn't stand in its shadow. This is an absolutely outstanding looking disc and it's probably one of the best looking films that I've ever seen. 
every hair, detail and texture on the animal stands out here and it brings the characters to life in a way that you don't really get on lower formats. This is a pixel perfect release and at times I was lost in how photorealistic this looks. This is demo worthy and is a must own for anyone looking for a new film to pick up. And lastly is Leon. Though this was released in the mid 90s, the movie looks like it was shot yesterday. This is just an incredible restoration that really brings the film to life in a way that was lost on previous releases. You really don't get better than this and initially this only got one release that made it shoot up in price due to all the collectors being after it. However, right now it's been re-released again with added art cards in a special edition box set for £20. You need to pick this up, trust me. I can't stress enough how much you have to buy this as it's a must have purchase that really showcases what the format can be at when it's at its best. This is a must buy, especially for the price. And with Christmas year, you deserve to treat yourself. And hey, that's our list. Now, obviously, I'd love to hear your top 10 and what your favorite movies of the year were. Comment below and let me know. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and make sure you check out our breakdown of the last big movie of the year, The Rise of Skywalker. We go over everything that you need to know about the film and its ending, so it's definitely worth checking out after this. If you want to come chat to me after the video, then make sure you follow me on Twitter at DefinitionYT or head over to my Discord server, which will be linked in the description below. We drop videos on there early, so if you want to see stuff before anyone else, then that's the best place to be. It's free to join and we have an awesome community, so hopefully I see you over there very soon. We're also giving away a free copy of Joker, which is one of our favourite movies of the last year, and all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and leave your thoughts on the list in the comments section below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 15th of January, and the set will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize, so best of luck to everyone who takes part. This is a channel for people who are mad into movies, so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. Huge thank you for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.